Welcome, everyone. This is Crichton, and welcome to Long Gone Days. This is a free indie game on Game Jolt, at least uh, the last time that I got it. Uh, I actually got it a long time ago, so I might need to get a new version. But either way, this is an RPG game, and it looked interesting. I don't. I kind of forget um, exactly what it's about, but I'm sure we'll figure that out today. So, let's get right into it. Common knowledge. What is common knowledge? Is it just me, or does this sound like Portal 2? From the day I was born, it was decided that I'd be a sniper. As soon as I could talk and understand orders, my training started. It was the same for every single one of my brothers. Or so I thought. Because of this, I grew up believing that the things that were taught to me at the Corps' army were things everyone knew about. But who gets to decide what is important to know? As I was growing up, knowing anything about things like history or even how a family usually functions seemed like a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, learning how to control my breath and how to move my fingers accurately were far more important. When you have been spoon-fed with limited choices your whole life, you don't really question the stuff given to you. You just assume it's normal. What, what use are those things I was taught during the past 22 years if I was ever taken away from the battlefield? It wasn't for, if it wasn't for the events in the past few days, I would have never questioned any of these things. But everything changed until the Fire Nation attacked. I like the little models, it reminds me a little bit like Starbound. Alright, let's continue. First thing you should remember when you cross the border is that you'll be within Russian territories, even though it's separated from the mainland. Normally, I teach you a thing or two about speaking with the locals, but in this particular operation, any kind of communication with outsiders is strictly forbidden. Do not even tell them the name on your dog tags. Is that clear? Tomorrow, I'll be sent on deployment for the first time. I don't know why I'm using this voice, but yes, I wasn't supposed to go, but the previous sniper broke his arm, and I was transferred to this squad as a last-minute replacement. You should also note that it is currently summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Those of you who have already been deployed at least once will appreciate the fact that summers in Kaliningrad range from 55 degrees Fahrenheit to 73 degrees, but it still rains just as often as in any other season. As you'll be representing the Polish army, a zero-tolerance policy towards misconduct will be in order. Is that clear? I wish I had more time to prepare. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a good job like this. Private Rourke! Yes, sir. You can find the briefing with the rest of your notes. If you have any doubts, just ask someone in your squad. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's all for me. We are counting on you, soldiers. You are dismissed. Information at the court. Pregolia. Shut up, Skype. Um, training ground. I'm gonna explore a little bit. What's this? Oh, okay. Did you know? You can update your info from this screen. Well, yeah, I already did it. Hello, person staring into a wall. Man, good luck replacing Coil. That guy could shoot a pin for miles away. I'm a fairly, com I'm a fairly competent sniper, too. Saw one of those tomatoes moving. Let's not talk to this guy. <laughs> okay, then. This is a greenhouse. Most of her food grows there. 
Do you think someone will notice if I don't shower? Okay. I mean, if you want to end up like that, sure. <laughs> I'm checking something. Could you use the third booth instead? Okay. He's training. I shouldn't bother him. Even though he's not shooting, I should leave him alone. Why did? Why was I able to talk to that one person? Okay. I, I guess now. Okay, there we go. Hey, Rourke! <laughs> Hi. I noticed you were about to train with the basic targets. Why don't you uh, activate the advanced ones? To be honest, I don't remember how to use them. Really? Just enter your ID on the console and select advanced mode. It's pretty straightforward. Since you are this forgetful, remember they won't attack you. It would be ridiculous to have something like that. By the way, you should try these bullets. Incendiary bullets. Okay, thanks. Compass! Oh, I see. So it's got kind of like the turn-based movement of, you know, an old more RPG, but it has a targeting thing on the Fallout. Aren't those bullets great? Anyway. Oh, so she's my spotter, Brana. Wish she could have said so from the beginning. Brana. Maybe it would be a good idea to take a shower and sleep soon. Not like that one guy. I think I might miss these hot showers. I must be going crazy. That's my squad's medic. He should be able to give me some info about the operation. Uh, I believe his name is Adar? Maybe I should just call him medic or something. <laughs> medic! Uh, I'll just do this. Have we met? Not really. I was. It's probably like ADA or, or I don't know. I was just transferred yesterday to the fourth squad, so I was wonder- Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so you are Coil's replacement. You haven't been deployed before, have you? No, God, please, no! No, God, please, no! Okay, uh, sorry if there was, like, a little glitch there. Uh, I'm using, uh, Bandicam, as you can very well tell, and it only does- it only records for 10 minutes at a time, and so I have, there might be some glitches here and there. Uh, I, I will get a better recording software soon, but anyway. You seem way too calm. Well, I have been waiting for this day for years. I've never even seen the sun before. Try not to stare at it too much unless you want to go blind. Huh? You don't know a thing about the surface, do you? I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. The surface is an awful place. Um, would you lighten up a little? This is not the time to relax. Okay then. Wow, what an option. What an obnoxious. What an obnoxious little prick. Intercontinent. I can't talk today. Intercontinental platform inside the core. Uh, More than 15 hours has passed already. For the first time, I am sitting on the platform that connects me to the surface. This thing has been shaking the whole time and it makes an ominous noise that won't let me sleep. 
The other guys looked wiped out, to say the least. To be honest, I'm not feeling too well either. I haven't eaten anything during the whole ride, but I guess that's because they expected us to fall asleep. I'm already in a cranky mood, and to make things worse, I'm sitting right next to this guy. That's probably 80, yep. Hey. You should try to get some sleep. You know what? I'm too tired to pretend to be polite. Screw this guy. <laughs> Didn't you say this wasn't the time to relax? <laughs> what? Are you still mad about the thing I told you yesterday? You know, right now is not the time to- No, 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 it's okay. I appreciate your honesty. Is that sarcasm or what? It's nothing like that. People are always kissing my ass, if I, as if I wouldn't take care of them if they pissed me off. So, But let me save you the trouble. I'm a professional. I don't mix feelings with my job. Being my friend doesn't mean that I'll take care of you first. So tell me, weren't you trying to do the same thing yesterday? I tried talking to you because I don't know anyone in the squad. I couldn't care less that you happen to be our medic. Is that so? W well, I'm glad you were not cynical like the others. Man, I've got news for you. <laughs> um, if you're still willing to listen to me, there are a couple things I wanted to tell you about the surface since you were transferred so soundly. I'm guessing you haven't been properly introduced. I just got the briefing today, so take a guess. Really? Well, you seem curious about the sun that, that I thought I should warn you a little. To be honest, I really don't know if the sun could leave you blind, but what I do know is that it burns. It burns like pouring alcohol on an open wound. It can even toast your skin. It's quite fascinating. <laughs> Why is this guy still talking? It's been like five minutes already. So yeah, based on that, I wouldn't even try to look at it too much. Sounds to me like the surface was awfully designed. Well, it certainly wasn't designed for us. What, what was that? Did we finally arrive, or...? Uh, even the lights went out. We have arrived, everyone get ready. We are opening the hatch. That is very loud in my right ear. As soon as the door that separated us from the outside world opened, a strong and musty odor filled my lungs. My uniform got all damp and it glued, got glued to my body as if a vacuum was sucking out the remaining air inside. The surface is gross. Oh, that could be broken. Okay. Ugh. I feel like I'm moving slower. Ravens are used to that saving point. Interact with them to see your progress. It's kind of interesting. To see. Okay, uh, I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording here. Thank you all for watching and uh, subscribe and like it to the video to see more of this. I know that this video isn't really that much, but uh, just subscribe and eventually we'll have better content. Bye.